Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Friday, January 19th. Sorry, January 19th. Thelma was here, and you know, she's just not letting me uh, put the cards down first, so I'm going to shuffle right over her, see how she likes this. See how we do this. Hope everybody had a good week. It's been an interesting week. Lots of energy. Sorry, I'm watching Thelma because she's, she's trying to bite my arm. I'm going to do one card here. I'm going to do these two cards here. Can I have this one, Thelma? Thank you. All right. Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, there is an energy of the Seven of Pentacles is trying to create something new, trying to um, work hard to for abundance, work hard for the seeds of intention. The Seven of Pentacles is like a seeds of intention and allowing them to like sowing the seeds of intention. And so it's, it's, um, there's been growth with this seven of pentacles. There's been growth. There's been advancement and the five of pentacles with this being in reverse, it's almost as if there's a change in the way we view things because this card typically represents being left out or um, pushed away from society or, um, you know, in the traditional tarot is uh, um, the church is closing their doors, uh, uh, pushing people away, or it's being pushed away. And with the being reversed, like there's a change in the way we are viewing things, not only about ourselves, but we're, we're not pushing ourselves away anymore. We're, we're making ourselves number one. So we're not pushing ourselves away or letting things go. We, and we let things go, but we're taking control of who we are and how we want to feel. So this card here is kind of indicating there is a shift in how we view possibly others, how we view society, how we view um, how we how we want to go forward. And I think that's, and that Knight of Wands is, is activating this card. It's looking right at it. Both of them are in reverse. And they're, it's, it's activating this Five of Pentacles to it, what once used to be the rules is no longer applicable is what I'm feeling. What once used to be the rule structure, it's no longer applicable. And this Knight of Wands is coming in to push it out, to move it forward, to, to uh, allow it to dissolve and to transform into something different. So these two cards are working together. The Knight is coming in to push this because it's an energetic energy to push out what was once defined within this uh, Five of Pentacles card. And the seeds of intention, the seeds that have been sown thus far, are growing. So whatever it is that you set forth to do, it's starting to become more and more and more visible. It's, it's starting to become more and more and more of a reality. It's starting to become more and more evident that your path is unfolding in the way you had planned it to be. Now there might not, it might not be everything in place, but there are things unfolding that have shifted to put this card number one and 
these other two cards are working together to dissolve the old. And that is pushing up new energy inside of you. And I, I see, because the next card would be the eight. So the eight would be working hard when that goal becomes, when you see that goal and you finally have that evidence, like you're actually then manifesting and you're, you're, you have the resources and everything attainable to you to complete that goal. There is, and as we shift from Capricorn to Aquarius, we are shifting our mindset to a more individual level of achievement, but then sharing it with a greater whole. And that's the transformation of Pluto into Aquarius from being more concrete and solid with the Capricorn. Now it's like it's moving into a direction of including others, including and accepting. A little bit longer video, apologize. And I hope everybody has a great Friday. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.